Hi, my name is Kelsey and today we're learning about the D major scales, chord progressions, and arpeggios. So first, how do you play the piano? Well, we're going to start with our five fingers in each hand and they mirror each other like this. So we have our ones for our thumbs, twos are pointer fingers, threes are the middle fingers, four is our ring fingers, and then five is our pinkies. So if we were to put our fingers down on the keyboard, we're going to lay them gently like this, just rounded, and you're going to have your pinky, so five on D, and you're going to have your thumb on the right hand, so one on the right hand on D. Let's start with our right hand. In this key, we have two sharps. We have F sharp and C sharp. So when we play, our third finger is going to hit this F sharp. Let's try that first. One, two, three. And now you're going to swing the fr your first finger right here. One, two, three, four. And then before you put your five down to finish the scale, we're going to do another octave. So bring your thumb under and do it again. Two, three, one, two, three, four. And let's finish the scale on five. Now going back down, we have the same sharps and we're gonna do a very similar thing. So we're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. And now our three comes over to the F sharp. Three, two, one. And now our four comes over. So on the F sharp, we have the, the three. And on the C sharp, we're gonna use our four. Four, three, two, one. And we have an F sharp. So what do we use? That's right, our three. Three, two, one. So that's our right hand. Let's do it a little faster. Ready and go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Feel free to rewind that and practice along with them until you feel like you have it down. Now let's try our left hand. So again, we have our pinky, our five finger on D, and we're gonna do a similar thing. We still have the F sharp on our three, and we have the C sharp on our two. So let's try this. Five, four, three, two, one. Can you guess what we do next? Cross the three over. Three, two on C sharp, one. And now what do you think? That's right, we're gonna do the four finger. Four, three, two, one, and three goes over. Three, two, one. Going back down, we're gonna do a similar thing. One, two on C sharp, three. Bring the one under. One, two, three, four. Bring the one under. Two, three, bring the one under. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now let's try it a little bit faster. If you notice the pattern, when you're doing your crossings, you cross on three, and then four, and then three again. So let's see how that works. Five, four, three, two, one, cross the three over. Three, two, one, four over. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. One, two, three, cross over. One, two, three, four, cross over. One, two, three, cross over. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. So now, when you feel comfortable, we're going to try to put the hands together. So let's try it at a nice, gentle speed. One, two, three, four. your first time that might be kind of tricky but don't worry just keep rewinding it and practicing each hand individually and then when you feel comfortable you can put them together now let's learn the chord progressions so we're gonna have our natural hand like this with our one on D our two I mean our three sorry on F sharp and our five on the A so here's our first chord 
and then we're gonna move up like this so that one stays on D, three goes up to a G, and your five goes up to a B. And we're gonna go back to the chord we were at before. And then we're gonna go down so that our two is on the E, and our one is on the C sharp, and our five stays on the A. Just like that, and back to our first chord. All right, let's try putting that together. Awesome. Now on the left hand, we have all the same notes. We just have to figure it out for these fingers. So we have five on D, three on F sharp, and one on A. Now for this one, our two is gonna take the G, and one is gonna take the B, but our five stays right here on the D. Right, like that. We're gonna go back to the chord. And now same note names again, we're gonna use three and five and one. So three on the C sharp, or five on the C sharp, three on the E, and one on the A. And back to our chord. All right, let's try those together. Great job. Now, if you look at this chord right here, that's basically the skeleton of our arpeggio. So how we play the arpeggio, I'm gonna start down here with my right hand. It's a little different, because instead of putting your three on the F sharp, we're gonna put our two there and put our three on the A. So it's like that. And then we're gonna cross under like we do for our scales to go up to the next D. So, one, two, three, cross under. One, two, three, five and back down. Five, three, two, one. And then your three on the A. All right, let's see if we can apply that to the left hand. So we're gonna put our five on the D. We're gonna put our three on the F sharp. We're gonna put our two on the A. And one is gonna go here. And then we're gonna do a crossover. So let's see how this looks. Five, three, two, one, cross the three over, three, two, one, and back down. One, two, three, one. All right, not too bad now that we've gotten the handle on swooping our thumbs under and the chords. So they all kind of go together if you think about it. So let's try these together. Ready and go. Great, you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll have another one up soon.